Hello folks, MadAkH53 again. Welcome to part 12 of My Paper Mario walkthrough. We just uh, defeated these three Pokey Mummies, and got this key to unlock this door in Dry Dry Ruins, and so we're gonna go through. And we reached this room right here, it's got a gap right here, so we're gonna, it's a uh, good thing we have Paracarry out. We got these stairs right here, what else do we have over here? We got a Buzzy Beetle, we got a door, a cracked, uh, a crack in the wall right there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this gap across. Um, let's see what's in here. I kind of forget what's in here. Oh, this. Oh. Uh, okay, this one doesn't have wiggly text, so I'm probably not going to talk in a ghostly voice. Uh, wait! Come on, don't go in that room. Oops, ahem, I mean. Flee now while you still can. If you continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse. Okay, then he talks in a ghostly voice. So we got we have this uh we have these these um, staircases right here. We've got a red one and a green one, and they have this uh, block right here, which actually we can see which uh, we can see all the way over there through the other wall. It's got this big treasure chest. So um, this is going to be a little puzzle right here. So uh, we need to try to make our way up to the upper left part of this uh, huge room. So I think we need to press uh, this one first. And then I think we have to press um, the one up here. I kind of wish the stairs would turn a little bit faster, but this is a good uh, speed. Okay, then we need to hit this um, red one. Oh, be careful, uh, try not to jump on the slip, the switch, when you, uh, come up the stairs. Okay, so now we come down this way, these stairs right here, we get this little ledge right here. Actually, there is a badge in this, uh, area right here, I think it's along the wall. I think if you go, like, far enough to the west, I think it's, it might be this one. There's a badge somewhere in here, I can't remember where it is. Um, but there's, um... That might be the next one, okay. Let's, uh, jump down. Oh! Well, you can go to the next... Oh, no. Oh, oh, well. Okay, so now we reach this treasure chest right here. And let's go ahead and see what's in this chest. Cue the opening the treasure chest music in Ocarina of Time. You got the Super Hammer. The attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. Woo-wee! All right, now we can finally break these gray blocks with our upgraded super hammer. And they force one right there just so you can test it out. And you know what, let's actually turn on the, uh... Oh, we have the... Okay, we have both of them on, okay. Um... Let me, see if I can... Let me see if I can find that badge again. I know there's a badge up here, which is like a slow-mo sort of badge. Um... It's, it's somewhere up here, I think you have to, like... Like somewhere, somewhere like in here. Okay, is it this one? There it is. Okay, yeah, it was the second one. Okay, so yeah, you want to go all the way to the west right here on this middle uh, ledge, and then there's a hidden door, and then there's a, 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 a hidden treasure chest, which is uh, pretty, uh, which is kind of in its own little light pool of light here, which is pretty cool. And yes, this is the slow go badge. Makes Mario unable to run. Space becomes very slow. You can equip it quite if you want, but it's really not probably that necessary. It just makes you move a lot slower. And if you want to get things done pretty fastly, then probably you don't want to equip that one. Okay, so now that we uh, left that room, actually, let's go up um, here. Let's go back to that stone block that um, had that um, statue thing behind it. Okay, so we're going to need to uh, flip the switch around. And then we can finally break the stone block, and it will give us this thing. The artifact. A strange artifact found in dry, dry ruins. 
So let's hold on to that for now. Um, and let's go back this way. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and break this crack with Bombat. I'm gonna get this a little... little cliff right here. If you jump down this cliff, you're not gonna die if you jump down it. You're not gonna fall into some lava or something like that. If you jump down this cliff, and you get this... Oh, this thing! You get this little uh, spring and this block right here with a spinning circle. This is uh, an upgrade block. Or a super block. Um, that's a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member, will, the member you upgrade will gain attack power. Also a new move. Master new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Alrighty. Um, if you upgrade Goombario, he'll master charge. His attack power will go up. Cooper will master Dizzy Shell. Bombette will do Power Bomb to attack all, all the on-ground enemies. Paracarry will do Airlift. I'm going to go ahead and go with the um, Bombette because, honestly, she's, uh, she's uh, quite the quintessential party member. So now she can do, party, uh, she can do uh, Power Bomb now. She'll attack all the enemies on the ground. Blow this crack up, and then in here is a stone block and some diamond shaped thing up there. Let's hit this stone block, actually. Okay. All right, let's hit this stone block, and oh no, it's a golden chain chomp. It's gonna attack us. Okay, um, let's get Gumbaru to show about, let's uh, let's get Gumbaru to talk about these enemies, and then I'll uh, go ahead and defeat them. These are stone chomps who guard the treasure in this room. He's made of stone. Duh. HP four, attack power three, defense one. His jaws are, can supposedly crush a coconut. I don't know about you, but I want—I don't want to become a snack. Okay, so let's see what these guys do. Oh, I didn't get that one. All right, so now we can uh, let's get Bombette out. Let's use her new ability, her new power bomb. Oh, six FP! Wow, that is a lot. But it's gonna take out both of these enemies, uh, hopefully. So let's. Uh, Okay, it's basically the same as a bomb, but just a, um, it's just a bigger uh, amount of enemies. Um, yeah, 6 FP. That uses quite a lot of FP. Um, we get tons of coins out of that. So now we can go ahead and get this diamond up here. We've got the diamond stone, a star-shaped stone found in dry, dry ruins. Whoa, what was Bombette doing? She was like, she was like stuck up here. Okay, enough of that. Let's uh, go this way. We're gonna get some uh, buzzy beetles. We can just slide, we can just uh, spin by them. We don't have to fight them. And then here's a stone block with a key up there. Hit the stone block and it covers a switch. If we hit the switch, it's gonna, su it's going to uh, make some uh, bricks slide out. Get this ruins key. So now we need to go all the way back to uh, that uh, part with a gap. So we're gonna need to take. Oh, what? That was not convenient at all. You know what? I think actually, just because this happened, I'm gonna show you what happens when you run away. Because I'm not gonna probably battle these guys. So run away. Basically, you just press the A button repeatedly. And, um,. That green bar will start at like a random location every time, so uh, okay. Well, all this talking and coin retrieving is just distracting me big time. Okay, go away, go away. Oh, okay, we lost the coins, oh well. Um, yeah, that's what run away, running away does. Um, it can be useful in some circumstances, um, if you think your enemy's too strong, um, and you're just like, you don't want to beat them, you don't want to take them out. Um, but enough of that. Uh, we get to this room now. Turn back, thief! Your time is running out! If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble! I do not lie, you will regret it! So yeah, that actually is pretty spooky music and a spooky thing. Alright, this corridor has some five chain chomps right here. It looks like you can insert some things in them. 
Um, this is a little puzzle that we're going to take care of in just a little bit. First, we need to unlock the store that we got with the key down there with those steps that came out. And we got some quicksand right here. Actually, I'm going to check one thing really quick. Okay, yeah. Alright, what you want to do actually is, um... Um, that, so that goes back down to that room with that switch. Um, you want to go out back up here and, um, hit the switch to sink this quicksand. And as you can see, there's some five chain chomps right there. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that this, uh, left most one has a diamond. The middle one has a star diamond. And this right one has a moon. And we got these, um, stones, this diamond stone. And we're going to be using these stones to actually be placing them in those five chain tombs. So, we're gonna, so now we need to go down this way. Um, okay, yeah, alright. So we go in here, we get another stone block, and we get this moon. See that moon right there? We break this. Oh, no chain chomp. Good. Okay, so let's get this moon right here. You got the lunar stone. A crescent-shaped stone. And, oh, there's a chain chomp. It just, it just appeared right in thin air. Okay, so I think... Um, what I'm going to do is actually refresh so I can get my FP, some FP back. That way we'll have enough FP to do bomb that's power bomb. And let her rip! Five FP, that's a lot of FP. Not FP, that's a lot of damage. Sorry. Okay, okay we've got the honey syrup. Uh let's see. got these. Alright, let's just throw away the honey syrup. Okay. Alright, well, say goodbye to that thing. Okay, now where we need to go, actually, is um, up in that room, kind of in the um, the middle of the, the, the dungeon. Not this way. We need to go to that room in, like, the middle of the dungeon, where all those stairs were. And there's that room, actually, there's a room up there, which has um, our last stone. So we're gonna go. Back, we're going to go back up to the main like foyer. So go back. Go past these coffins. Back up here, and then we need to go through this door right here. See, this is the main foyer area. So we're gonna go in this way. And then we got this. Yep. See, right there is the diamond. Is the triangle-shaped stone. We're gonna break this block. Oh, and then actually um, shuts the door on us, and then we get- Oh! Oh, man, really? Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was- Oh, we can't even run away. Oh, man. Oh, well, those are the breaks. Uh, okay, so let's actually go ahead and do a- uh, Let's do a quake hammer. Okay, let's try a Bummet's Body Slam. Okay, it's got that one out. All right, we can finally get. The, we can finally bring the hammer on this guy. We can ban it from the internet. Ooh, three damage. Wow. Okay, yeah. Um, so what I what I wanted to do actually is um, I wanted that chain chomp to go like back down to the ground, so that way we could use Bombet's first strike. Um, but it just didn't happen. But now, nonetheless, we can get this pyramid stone. Um, so now we need to go back to that corridor with the five chain chomps. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my uh, travel down there, and I'll see you down in that corridor. So just a second. Okay, so now we're back here. Now we got these. We got these three stones: the lunar pyramid and diamond stone. It's kind of interesting order of colors. And we need to insert them in these little um, slots right here. And if if it was, uh, if you remember correctly. We'll start with the kind of the most obvious thing, the easiest thing. We're gonna put the lunar stone on the far right. Then we're gonna put the diamond stone in the middle, and then the pyramid stone on the left. And there we go. 
eyes kind of all light up. And then for some reason Mario was doing his little panic running thing that he did at the beginning of Peach's Castle when the earthquake was uh, being lifted up. So now that actually um, summons some stairs to go down this way. Down to the depths. Oh, we even get some new music. So uh, we got some stairs that... Uh, so we're going to go down, down, down. Get this uh, nice little HP recovery block. So we're down like way down underneath the uh, ruins now. Go this way. Oh. This is your la this is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave at once. All right. What do you bet? Our enemy, our uh, boss, is going to be in this next door. Let's get. Let's uh, check our badges first, really quick. All right. We don't need spike shield because I know which boss this is. Maybe we, we could use shrink stomp. Could use quake hammer. Um, let's see. Power bounce. We could use power bounce. By the way, uh, a little recommendation. Whenever you fight a boss in this game, like in each chapter boss, take off your um, spin attacks, spin badges. Because they are going to be of no use in a boss fight. So, uh, free those up if you would. I would really recommend it. And factually, I think we're pretty good. So let's go ahead and tackle our second boss. Woohoo! Oh, wait a minute. I had to bomb that out. Darn it. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like, looks like a ghost. It's mysteriously hovering up onto that platform. That's a cool animation too. How he like, how he like turns into like those pixels and then he like forms uh, this enemy. You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Toot Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. Okay, so this is our uh, boss for chapter two, Toot and Koopa. Um. We can't use, I think we can't really use this hammer, we can use Quake Hammer, but he's standing on that platform right there. So we're actually not going to be able to use Bombette for this first turn, but he's actually got a little friend to accompany him, so we could actually have Bombette out. Um, actually, I think, you know what, I'm going to switch to uh, Mario. Yes, I, I want to get that towel in there. Let's try, uh, let's try, uh, let's do Power Jump. <laughs> come, Chomp, come! Fight this intruder! Yep, he's gonna summon his old friend, the Chain Chomp. And he gets his own little camera close-up. So this is a normal Chain Chomp, as you can see. Now let's go get the tattle on Tootin Koopa. This is Tootin Koopa. He's one of Bowser's followers, and he's been signed to guard one of the Star Spirits. I have heard that he has some sort of a Pharaoh complex. You, you don't mean like an identity complex or inferiority complex? Max HP is 30, that's a lot of HP. Attack power is 3, defense is nothing. He attacks by throwing shells from that high perch. Try to dodge when he uses magic. Its attack power is 2, and it'll sting for sure. And he also summons Chomps, his loyal subjects. Those Chomps have some serious attack power. Think hard about what. Think hard about who to attack first, Tootin Koopa or Chomp. I think he, al he also does, th I think, this move where he'll, um, He'll make some things fall from the ceiling, and it can hit it, it can hit your partners too. All right, so let's see what happens. Oh, we got Marcus here. Let's try strength stomp on the on the chomp. Oh, okay, that was bad, and that was bad. Okay, change of plan. Let's go ahead and do a uh, let's do a uh, power jump. And, uh, let's get Paracarry out. <laughs> I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed.
Oh, I didn't even, oh, I, yeah, see, that's, that's the thing. Um, I didn't even damage, the, I didn't even dodge that. Wow. Um, yeah, he'll have things from, fall from the ceiling and it can attack, it can hit you and hit your partner. Um, so I say we do another power jump. Wow, this is, uh, going a little bit less than I hoped thought it would. I cannot hit, I cannot dodge that for some reason. I can't even dodge that, damn, I can't even dodge that either. Okay, uh, I would, I would say we should probably use our wacky smoke. There we go. Alright, let's see if this will work this time. Oh, it hit him! <laughs> In your face, Tootin' Koopa, it didn't work! Alright, so now let's get, uh... Let's, uh... Get the shell shot on this chomp. Oh, it's two. Let's do... Power jump. Ouch! What are you doing? That hurt! I'm king of the desert. You rude, rude man. Take this! And then he goes back up to his little platform. Okay, well, he's, up to, he's down to 12 HP. Um, we should be done soon. We can use actually our uh, shell shot. Takes and gives him five. And Merle's spell kicks in, which will decrease the damage we take. Wow, would you look at that? Oh, I, uh, man, I see. I never, I, I, I can't really figure out, like, how long it, it takes because, like, I, I was able to dodge it with Mario, but I, I never know, like, how long it takes before it hits the partner. But nonetheless, we're going to do a power jump on Tootin' Koopa and then end his reign in the desert. It ends uh, both him and the Chomp, Chain Chomp. We get 25 star points and we're up to 66. And this concludes our boss fight. No! Oh, come here, Chompy. Wah! What are you? Ow! Help! So after kind of a bad start in the boss fight, we actually uh, defeated Tootin Koopa and his fellow Chomp. And now we can touch the Star Spear right here. And we are about to release the second spirit. Thus, Mario and Party unearth the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Tootin Koopa, the wizard, and freed Mamar. The, sorry. They smashed Tootin Koopa, the wizard, and freed Mamar. That was, I pronounced that kind of wrong. The second of the wish granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Alrighty, I'm going to end this part right here, part uh, 12, and we're going to move on to the game after we uh, save and continue and get on to the next segment. So stay tuned for the next part, part 13, everybody. See you then.